Indeed. Yes. Yes. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know but they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Yes, of course. I shall. I'll do it.
I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? The Arl? Then you, you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Is anyone surprised? Anyone? We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. He's just over there in the Chantry. Please, come. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. Oh, good eye. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. You're a rather unusual group, to say the least. Can I ask who you are and why you've come? A Grey Warden? I thought you all died along with my nephew. At least that is what Loghain would have us believe. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. There is a Grey Warden who goes by the name of Alistair. Does he yet live? He does? Finally, some good news amidst all the bad. Thank you. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. I'm asking you, please, help us. Help Eamon. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who Why seeks his forgiveness. Blessed yet. art thou the... who seeks his return. They're gone. Blessed is the They're prophetess, gone. his daughter, gone on sacrificed to the trip. holy flame. When will they May be the back? chant reach the Maker's ears them. and tell him Ray, of our younger. contrition. Your parents would want that. We need you I'm scared, mother. When are the bad I men shall coming? Do it. Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I want to Good go day. home. Where's father? Why can't we go? You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. I am. You've heard of me? 
I'm sorry to burden you with my mourning. Make her be with you. I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad. I'm so scared. Sorry. Am I bothering what are we going you? To do? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense, I'm afraid. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We have no choice. We must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. I just hope everything will be all right. So many have already died. You know, we don't have the men. No sign of them coming back from the, the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. For more reasons than you care to hear, I bet. Still, there's no reason to think Van Tegan's lost his mind. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Right. Let's hope we see morning.
miss the life you once had, Shell. These centuries of memories you have lost. Does it miss being within its mother's womb? Do I... Well, no. I don't remember that far back. It is no different. My memory stretches only so far, and what went before is now lost. And you remember nothing at all? Not even a little bit? There are images. Faces who I have no names for. Places I remember being, but not where they are. Do I miss these things? They are without context. I feel only disquiet when I think of them. Like dreams, then. When you awake, all the details have fled. Is that what it is to dream? Then yes, perhaps it is like that. How very sad. To discover your entire life has been a forgotten dream. I am so sorry. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Grey Warden it is, then, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Denativi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. As you wish. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. No word from the castle? Ooh, a windmill. I once took a ride on the sails of a windmill. It didn't turn out well. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter.
Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. It is begun. It shall be. Not looking for company. And that's all we have in common. I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. If I... But I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Just to report any changes, honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, Monsters started coming from the castle. A tall fellow, I forget his name, he uh, said he was working for Hal, Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Logan's right hand, so I didn't do anything wrong. Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? 